independence to our beautiful island of wood and water in honor of jamaica's 59 years of independence i dedicate the month of august to showcasing all jamaican cuisine in this first episode we'll start with our famous sweet potato pudding so what i'll do first is prepare my coconuts for blending because i do not have the strength to grate them so here i'm just slicing two coconuts i'm going to then blend them and strain the coconut milk from it and this is what it looks like after i've blended it now i'm going to grate the sweet potatoes now this is this whole sweet potato pudding is truly a labor of love because the amount of times messed up and say make and butter is too much to count have the sweet potatoes in water to prevent them from oxidizing but once they agree they are going to oxidize and they're going to get darker but that's fine but for the time being I just keep them in water and I am grating until my arms no longer exist I believe the first time I encountered I experienced the greatness of sweet potato pudding was from my mother who was taught by her great grandmother how to make it and there are truly no measurements for this you do as much as your heart desires do you do basically what you feel like but the years following watching my mother and started doing it myself I have come up with some sort of measurements some like a metrics that are not much but you have a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of instruction, just a little bit of idea of measurements. After I have grated all my sweet potatoes, I'm now going to work on my dry ingredients. And there I added nutmeg, mixed spice, and a little bit of salt. I am going to whisk this together to ensure that everything is incorporated. After which I'm going to work on my wet ingredients, which is the coconut milk, some brown sugar, and a little bit of vanilla also going to whisk this until the sugar is dissolved or near being fully dissolved then we're going to work on incorporating and combining everything to make our beautiful sweet potato pudding hella top hella bottom and hallelujah in the middle this was not made on a wood fire so it didn't really have that much hell off the bottom but you get it here we have approximately three tablespoons of chiffon butter, which is just margarine. I'm going to ensure that this is properly incorporated before I add anything else. So just take your time and rub the butter into the sweet potato mixture. Once it is well incorporated, it should turn to like a paler brown color. And then we're going to start adding our dry ingredients and i'm just going to add just a little bit at a time mix that out before i add the rest of flour ensuring that it's properly mixed out before we add anything else Now we're going to add our coconut milk mixture and again we're going to add a little bit at a time, incorporate that before we add anything else. So now you have to go a bit slow because you don't want to slosh all the milk all over the place and you want to ensure that the coconut milk is combined with the sweet potato mixture. We are going to repeat the steps and also going to reserve a bit of coconut milk because we're going to add this to the pudding once it's almost finished and that's how you normally get that glossy top. You can also add more butter to get that glossy finish that you see sweet potato puddings having. So just remember to incorporate and mix well, stir, stir, stir. Remember this is a labor of love. I remember saying the word pudding pan in reference to 
metal basins or plastic basins or just basins and pants that you seize meat and stuff like that in in front of people that weren't from rural Jamaica and they looked at me like I was mad. This is generally the consistency that we are looking for. We don't want it to be too stiff yet not too watery because this is a pudding. It's supposed to be like heavy. This is what we're looking for and you can always taste this butter because it doesn't have nothing raw in there that's going to harm you. So you can taste it and if you'd like it to be sweeter, you just add a bit more sugar. We're going to divide this into our pans. I got two 8 inch rounds and one 6 inch from this entire batter. I used about two and a half cups of mixture for each eight inch round. You'll then shake and knot the pans to allow that sweet potato pudding to just settle properly in the pan without having a lot of lumps and bumps. Allow that to bake for 30 to 45 minutes, even to an hour depending on how thick your puddings are. This is what my puddings look like after they're almost finished baking and here I'm just adding that coconut milk mixture to the top of both and allowing them to finish baking and then this is how we're going to get that glossy finish. This brings us to the end of our first video in our Jamaican series. I do hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.